In this lecture, we are going to learn about how to set form control values using set value and patch value method in reactive form. We have already learned how to use set value and patch value in a template driven form. And using set value and patch value method in a reactive form is almost similar to how we use it in template driven form. Let's actually see it practically. So what we want is in this form, we want to set the value in this email form control to a default value. Let's say abc at example.com. Okay, so let's see how we can do that using set value method. Let's go to VS Code and let's go to app component class. So I'm going to write the logic inside this ng on init method. Okay, so inside this ng on init, let's first access this form. So this reactive form. And on this, let's use set value method. Now we have learned that to this set value method, we need to pass an object and the structure of that object must match the structure of the form group on which we are using it. So here we are using this set value on this reactive form form group. So to this set value, we need to pass an object and this object should have these properties in this same structure. So here, what do we have? We have this personal details form group. So here, let's specify that personal details form group. So this is going to be the property name and to this we need to assign an object and inside this object we need to specify the first name last name and email properties so let's go ahead and let's do that so currently to these properties i have assigned empty string now after this we also have this gender country and hobbies property so let's also specify that so gender country and hobbies property then we also have this skills property and it is a type form array so here we also need to specify that property and that property should be of type array okay so in this way to this set value method we have passed an object and the structure of this object is matching the structure of this reactive form form group now here we want to set the value for email form control so here we can specify that value so we want to set its value to abc at example.com all right now when we use this set value method in a template driven form there we added a button and on the click of that button we were setting the value for this email form control so what we can do is we can either go ahead and add a button element here or what we can also do is instead of adding a button element we can use set timeout method so here let's use set timeout and to this set timeout let's pass a callback function for that i'm using this arrow function syntax and then let's also pass a time interval of maybe 4000 milliseconds and let's go ahead and let's put this code inside that set timeout callback function with this let's save the changes let's go to the web page and here let's wait for four seconds and after four seconds you will notice that this email field has been set with this value abc at example.com let's refresh the page so let's wait for four seconds and after four seconds this email field will be set with this value all right so this is how we can use this set value method now when we are using this set value method we need to include all the form controls even if their value is not going to change so instead of using set value method we can also use patch value and when we use patch value method we need not to specify all the form controls we only need to specify that form control for which we want to set a value let's see that so what i'm going to do is i will comment this code here and let me paste it here and from here let's remove all those properties all those form controls for which we do not want to set any value so here we do not want to set any value for first name and last name so i will remove that and we do not want to set values for these fields also so i will remove them as well and here instead of set value let's use patch value let's save the changes let's go to the web page and 
this form should still be working as earlier. So after four seconds, you will notice that we have this abc at example.com set for this email control. But this time we are setting this value using patch value method. And when we use patch value method, we need not to pass the exact structure of the object. We only need to specify that property, that form control for which we want to set some value. And finally, let's also learn how to reset the form. So again, resetting the form is very similar of how we reset it in the template driven form. We simply need to use the reset method. So we have this form inside this reactive form form group. Okay, so this reactive form form group is our reactive form here. Right. On this form group, we can simply call reset method. And let's go ahead and let's call this reset inside this on submit method so that when the submit button will be clicked, the form will be reset. All right. Let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. Let's enter some value in these fields. Okay. Let me add some skill. Let's select hobbies and let's click on this submit button. So when I click on this submit button, this form should reset. And let me first click on the submit button. So you will notice that this form has been reset. That means the form control has become empty. And not only that, the state of the form should also have changed. So here, if I expand this, you will notice that on these form controls, the ng untouched, ng pristine and ng invalid has been added. So that means the status of each of these form controls has also been reset. And you will also notice that when we clicked on the submit button, this country field and this gender radio button has also become empty. But what we want is when this submit button is clicked, by default, the country should be India and the gender should be male. For that, what we can do is to this reset method, we can pass an object just like we are passing it to the set value method. So I will copy this object from here and let's pass it to this reset method and let's go ahead and let's uncomment it. Okay, so we want to set some default value for the country drop down and the gender radio button. So for country, let's specify India as the default value. And for the gender, let's specify male. So these values should match the value from HTML. So for India, the value is India. And for male, the value is male. So this M should be in lowercase. Okay, with this, let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. All right, let me enter some value in these fields. Okay. Let's add some skill, maybe SQL. Let me click on this submit button. So when we clicked on this submit button, the form has been reset, but we still have these default values. So for country, default value is India. For gender, default is male. So our form is working as expected. Okay, so this is how you can reset a reactive form. And one more thing here is, if you remember, when we were using the template driven form, on the form, we were also calling this form. And on that form, we were calling this patch value method. But here in case of reactive form, we don't need to do that. Okay, we can simply call this patch value method on the form group. This is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.